Well, hey there, beautiful people. It's Betsy. Happy Friday. Hope yours has gotten off to an amazing start so far. And I hope you have some wonderful, fun plans for your long weekend. We're going to do a lot of chilling. I'm feeling that going on this weekend. So I'm excited about that. But I had a video um, all prepared for you guys on procrastination that I was going to actually talk to you guys about yesterday. Um, but I've actually decided to save that one for next week. And today I'm going to talk to you about something that is extremely important for you to live a happy life. Not that I'm saying that everything is always going to be happy, but in order to live a happy life, you have to learn how to process, work through your emotions. You know, when I got certified as a life coach, um, they gave it a terminology called buffering. I've always called it stuffing. <laughs> but no matter what you want to call it, um, if you don't learn how to sit with your emotions and actually process through them, you're going to end up with a whole lot of other problems on top of whatever the existing problem is that you don't want to face. Okay. And what I mean by that is if you stuff your emotions or you buffer your emotions with food, you're more than likely going to end up 10, 20, 30 pounds <laughs> overweight in an unhealthy, ugh, unhealthy, tired, fatigued body. They could even cause health issues down the line. Okay. If you process your emotions with alcohol, you very well may end up with a drinking problem, uh, with health problems or, um, a whole lot of really bad choices and decisions that you're making when you're under the influence of alcohol. Okay. If you process your emotions by spending and buying things, you're more than likely going to end up with a whole lot of debt or even a serious financial problem. Okay. And there's lots of others. There's gambling, you know, there's all kinds of other things, but I think you're getting the idea of what it is that I'm trying to say. So yesterday I was going to deliver a video, like I said, on procrastination, but I was sad. I was a lot sad and I'm sure, you know, probably a lot of y'all saw my post about Rocky and what I'm dealing with, with his health right now. And you know, while I thought I should be this big girl, you know, how many, why do you, you know, gotta be a big girl. And get all these other things done um, that I needed to do to launch this new uh, coaching program that I'm really excited about that I just created. Um, I just decided I wasn't going to stuff the sadness and I was going to process it, sit with it, work through it, be with it. Okay. Because what I need you guys to really understand is first of all, emotions won't kill you. <laughs> but when you are having negative emotions that keep coming up for you, if you just keep stuffing them, they're just going to keep coming up until you process them, work through them, understand why they are there and what they're trying to show you because yes, they are trying to show you something. Okay. And you have to move through them. When you're in an extremely negative state, you can't just stuff it. Okay. You can't just put on a happy face and expect it to go away. You can't just put one thought on top of another thought and expect that thought to go away any more than you can put a band aid on a broken arm and expect that arm to heal. Okay. You have to understand what's driving the emotion and where it's coming from because emotions are driven by these things up here. Okay. Always, always. You cannot have an emotion without a thought first happening. It's been proven in neuroscience. Okay. The thought always fires first, even if it's a split second like that. Okay. The thought always comes first. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with, you know, putting on a happy face when you need to, because we got to do that sometimes. Okay. Um, sometimes life just happens and you got to put on that happy face. Like if you've been crying all morning and you got to spend time with your kids, you got to put on a happy face. So you got to get to a happy place sometimes. Okay. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is you, you can't just leave whatever that issue is hanging and you can't just stuff it and expect it to not come back. And this is what I need you to understand because this is really, really important. When those emotions come back, they always come back bigger and badder than they did the first time. And the more you stuff them, the badder they come back. Okay. Because there is a belief that's driving the thoughts that's causing you to have the emotions. And that belief is running automated inside of your brain and it's firing all day long without you even knowing it it's because you've thought it so many times that it's on automation. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to do a video that's going to tell you guys, um, explain to you guys exactly how your brain works. So I think it's going to be really helpful for you. Okay. What's really important for you to understand is your emotions are a key, key player 
in every area of your having success in every area of your life, okay? Your thoughts cause your emotions, which drive your actions or your inactions, okay? Which is why most people never have success to begin with. Because they're either taking wrong actions, right? Or they're not taking any action at all because the way they feel is causing them to either move or not, okay? And then of course, your actions will cause your results or your lack thereof. Or, or it's gonna cause results that you really, really don't want. And this is why God says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he or she, <laughs> okay? Because every result in your life is driven by your thoughts and all of your emotions are driven by your thoughts. And if you don't sit with negative emotions when they come up and understand the thoughts and beliefs that are driving those emotions, those emotions will continue to drive your actions or inactions that will give you no results or results that you don't want. I know I just said a mouthful, but if you grasp at all how important your emotions are to your livelihood, then you'll understand why you need to process through them instead of stuffing them. So what I'd really like for you guys to try, maybe one time over the weekend, the next time you have a negative emotion, because I can guarantee you you're going to have one over the weekend, instead of stuffing it with whatever your normal go-to is, food, alcohol, you know, buying something or whatever, sit down with it. It's not going to kill you, I promise. Sit down with it and listen to it and process it and ask yourself, what is it that I'm thinking right now? Because whatever you're thinking is driving that emotion. And when you get that thought, whatever it is, ask yourself, where did this come from? Is this really my thought? Or is this a thought that somebody gave me a whole long time ago that I'm still dealing with? Is this a belief that's my belief? Or is it a belief that somebody else put on me? Because it's only at that point where you understand what it is and where it's coming from that you can even begin to work on changing it. And if you don't change it, you're never gonna create success in anything you want. So again, I know this was a lot for you guys to process, but if it is a topic that you would like to discuss on a deeper level, I'm actually offering 15 minute discovery calls. They're totally free. And um, if it's something that you would like to jump on, just drop link in the comments. Or if you're shy, you can shoot me a message with link and I will send you a link in my calendar and we can hop on a call. I'll show you your brain. I'll show you your thoughts. I'll show you the thought, the side of the emotion that you're having and, and why you're, you're not being able to do what it is that you wanna do, okay? And what you can start to do to start changing it to work for you instead of against you. So I hope this was helpful information for you guys. And if it was, I'd appreciate it if you would tag somebody in the comments or share it with somebody that you think might benefit. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and a beautiful, safe, long weekend. Take care. God bless.